In this movie, I'm going to show you how to add your own sample library into Loop Cloud. With this free app from Loop Masters, you don't just get all the incredible benefits to sample management, browsing, and even editing and sequencing for everything in your Loop Masters account, but also with any samples in your personal collection too. So to add a samples folder on my hard drive into Loop Cloud now, I just click the plus switch on the top bar, then navigate to the folder and click open. Loop Cloud then starts analyzing and automatically tagging samples to work out timing, pitch, format, and instrument type. You can also just drag and drop a folder into the main Loop Cloud window, clicking library first to make sure you're in the default view. Although you can see Loop Cloud does most of the work for you, with instrument tags added when the file name contains them, as well as key and BPM info coming from the file name, or an audio analysis if not, there are some instances when you might want to make adjustments, like when a loop is tagged as half the speed it should be. I can correct this by right-clicking, going to the Analyze menu, and forcing it to detect the BPM within a certain range. Sometimes a one-shot in your collection might also have a misleading name, suggesting it's in a key like A, and also have lots of transients and appear to be a loop, in which case you can clear the key and BPM tags using the menu, as well as set it to one-shot. So there's lots of scope for getting the analyzer to do what you want. And all these commands can be applied to whole folders, as well as individual samples. Additional tag editing can be done by clicking on the editor switch at the top, after which this new section displays tag information for the selected individual or group of samples. At the top you have the keyboard where you can change or add keys, and tags can also be removed by clicking on their cross in the current tags list. In the Tags Manager section below, you can find all the tags in the search area, like genre or instrument. So if you want to add some tags to this sample, then I can choose ARP and LEAD, like so, and I can do this for multiple samples if I hold shift and then click lower down to select a group of them, or even entire folders. So this makes the process much quicker. Furthermore, you have a tag search box in the current tag section. So if I want to tag this whole folder as drum loops, then I just select it, then type drum into the box, and it then brings up the list of relevant tags below, where I just click on drum. So again, some nice time-saving features there. And finally, you can add your own tags in the manager. So for instance, I could put one in the additional category by clicking on it, then choosing create tag and typing a name, selecting a color if I want, and then clicking save. This personal tag could then be allocated to all the samples I've just imported into Loop Cloud by clicking on that root folder and clicking set next to the tag. after which you can see it's now tagged them all. And then I could do a randomized search through loops from my collection only if I wanted to, by choosing the personal tag in the additional category in the search area. So some great new features for consolidating your entire sample collection to make full use of Loop Cloud's easy tagging and managing facility and turbocharge your music production workflow.